Hello everyone, you know it is my birthday August 1st tomorrow and I have another birthday present that I'm going to season. This is the 36 inch Blackstone griddle. I can smell the bacon and the pancakes and the eggs already. Now, everyone knows if you've ever cooked on a wrought iron skillet that you always season it first. Blackstone, of course, is going to guarantee this product right here, the griddle seasoning. It's Blackstone, and Blackstone stands behind their products. I have a Pit Boss grill. I use the same thing. I use the Blackstone seasoning to season my Pit Boss, and it works great. Now, they say that one-time seasoning is not enough. You need to season it four times at least, which means I've got to turn on the grill, let it burn for about 15 minutes. After it runs about 15 minutes, then I put two or three tablespoons full of grease on it and rub it in with tongs and a paper towel. So let's get busy doing that because I got to heat it up first and that takes about 15 minutes. That's burning. Here we go. You can see that flame right along the edge there. We're going to let that baby heat up for 15 minutes. I'm not going to make you sit through that whole thing. And then in 15 minutes, we're going to be back and I'm going to put the seasoning on, baby. Woo, doggies, I don't mind telling you, it is hot. It's been 15 minutes. Time to get this grill seasoned. So we're going to put sparingly a little there and a little over there. And then we are going to rub it in, rub it in. And we got to get it everywhere. You can use a paper towel, just like I'm doing here. But you got to get it everywhere. Got to get it everywhere. On the sides, everywhere. And you're going to have a lot of smoke. Trust me, it's going to be smoky. But you got to get it everywhere. All over this. All around. On the back side. Everywhere. And it is hot. My wife was out there in the cabana not even close to here and she could feel it all the way out there that's how hot it gets you don't need to do a whole lot of this it goes a long way but you gotta do everything that's why you want to do more than one coat you want to do about four some people do five <laughs> watch the video the man in the video from back blackstone when he, you look it up by seasoning your griddle on Blackstone and the guy does it for four or five times, sometimes five, sometimes just four, but he recommends just keep doing it. But it's hot, people. It's hot. You got to be careful. Whew, it'll burn you. It'll burn you. Make sure you keep everything away from that griddle because it's going to be all the way up and you don't want anything to get burned. Woo -wee. Look at that smoke pouring off that baby. Now it's got to do that for 15 minutes. You'd think 110 is hot enough during the day. We're going to make it 120 in here, maybe 130.
We still have about nine minutes left. Looks like it's doing good. It gets so hot, it makes you scared to get too close to it. You can feel the hair on your arms burning. So you probably want to wear gloves that you would use to pick up really hot things that go up close to your elbow. That way you don't accidentally touch that griddle because that'll put you in the emergency room. That'll be a good burn right there. Good things don't happen without a little pain though, right? Still smoking. And you'll see it discolors. That was one of the things that he said in the video and I read in the book. The griddle will discolor. But water is your enemy. Just like any cast iron, you don't want this thing to get wet. If you don't cover the whole griddle, he said it will flake and come apart on you little by little with every use. And you don't want to use bacon grease. I know that if you are like me, we're only going to do this about once every uh, week, maybe two or three times a week at the most. We'll be out here cooking on this for breakfast. So if you use bacon grease and you do it like that, then it's not good for the grill and it'll start flaking, he said, and it won't be a good situation for you. The next thing is you want to keep it dry, season it four times minimum, and season the whole griddle, every bit of metal surface that you cook on. I think that first coat went in pretty good. Nine o'clock. So we're gonna start with number two. Numero uno two. going to keep subjecting myself to those temperatures. Yeah, I guarantee you don't do like I did the first time and do it with your bare hand. Use a glove. Glove, baby. Because you will burn your hair off your arms. And if you touch that griddle, you will be sorry. Okay, we're going to let that simmerate. Simmerate's a new word. Look at that smoke. Woo! Where there's smoke, there's fire. There you go. It's time to put another coat on there and season it again for another 15 minutes. Here we go.
Oh, there's the smoke. Smoking. Four should be sufficient. The seasoning is the hard part. The cooking is the fun part. Can't wait for that part to hit. That's about as good as this old country boy can do. We'll see how that goes. I can't wait for breakfast with bacon and pancakes and eggs. Hash browns. Ooh, doggies. It's going to be good. Blackstone griddle seasoning. You can pick it up where you pick up the griddle. I got mine at Academy. Just make sure if they put it together for you, you got all the parts when you go home. That means the tray that catches the grease, It's a they call it a grease cup that goes on the back of the griddle, on the back of this 36 inch Blackstone anyway. Make sure you've got that and make sure you've got your instruction manual and make sure you have all the parts that you're supposed to get before you go home. I'm gonna let this cook down. I'm gonna see the pork chops Rhonda cooked up for us tonight and I'll be back on At Home with Tom and Rhonda next time. Bye for now.